Hey guys, Aparna3 here. Welcome to uh, my creative world on Minecraft. This is where I test things such as cannons, redstone contraptions, general building. And today I wanted to show you something interesting. As you could probably tell by the title, I made something called the Barrel TNT Cannon. Now, <clears throat> I don't know if anybody's made something like this before, but I'm willing to bet not because I searched for it after I first made it and I didn't see any results. Now I find this cannon unique because first of all, it looks pretty cool with its actual cannon barrel. You can make it as long as you want. Not too long though. And um, you can add things like a muzzle break. I mean it's not necessarily you know useful but hey it looks cool and it works. So the point of this cannon is to completely remove all TNT's you know spread after shooting and also it, it actually I think goes further as a comment from my friend said um, basically what me and my friends have been doing smalls B J meta metas back um, we've all been working on something you know our own little server called war server where we basically spend a long time building bases up building different you know structures within our bases defenses such like that and then after that period is ended, the build period is ended we go to war we fire at each other we have this massive battle I might record it sometime but yeah this is a cannon I developed during one of those build phases and I thought well I ought to show this off now this of course is just a lot of this is unnecessary stuff um, but let's go for a test fire eh? let's see how it goes oh yeah by the way uh, Facts. Like. Oh, did I have propellant? No, I didn't have propelled tin. I didn't. Uh, well, I did. Oh, okay. I didn't even see. It. You see, that's that's something cool. I didn't even see it leave the barrel. Two TNT. Huh? It yeah, launched two TNT. That was unintentional feature. It must be multiplayer that it only shoots one. But okay. First off. I'd like to mention, this cannon goes in a straight line. For it to go this far, in a straight line, takes a lot of power. Alright, that cannon goes straight. And let's not forget to mention, it drops only three blocks in that distance. That's a pretty good ratio for a cannon. You can make this as powerful as you want it, too. You can do another fire. <laughs> so it does launch two TNT. That one shorter this one, I don't know why. Uh, but, oh, I see why. It's because of my little design here. I changed it. So, this is on a seven, seven tick timing. You could make it more if you just move the button a bit. But, yeah, we're not going to go into details there. So... Actually, to prove a point, I'm going to remove this barrel and see which, you know, goes faster. No barrel or a barrel. Because I haven't actually tested this myself. Now I'm just going to leave that there because, you know, that's how it goes. This is a stubby cannon. Goes the same distance. So actually, it really doesn't matter if you have a barrel or not, but the point of this cannon is to have a barrel. So, th that's how it works. Um, so, this is part video tutorial, so uh, let's skip to that, alright? I'll see you there. Alright, we're back in an empty plot, decent distance away from the cannon, and here we're gonna start building. So, if you look at my hotbar, that's all the material you're gonna need. Uh, these of course are random building materials, you don't even really need the stairs, that's for smoothing things out. But, you know, basically block of your choice to go here. That's gonna be, you know, your main cannon design. And you absolutely must have packed ice unless you want your ice to melt, depending on the climate you're building in. So, I'll explain the mechanics as we go along. But first off, the first thing you need to do is choose your elevation. 
So, four blocks off the ground. Sure. It doesn't really matter how you build this up. It, it, I mean, you can do it however you want. <clears throat> I'm just going to do something fast. Won't look fancy. Look pretty crappy. The point is, this is a tutorial that's meant for the functional look. Next, you're going to want to lay out th four dispensers in a little row like this, depending on how you want to make it. You can also make dispensers, in fact, actually, to show how versatile you can make this design, you can put dispensers like that. Now, I'm building it too high. You can make it one high and make it a full just chamber, but I don't do that just because this is a lot easier to build. So, in here... Actually, hold on, I messed up. You do not put these here. The reason being is because this is where the cannon shot comes out. So you do not want to add more dispensers there unless you want a lot of shots. That might be pretty cool. Haven't tried something like that. Kind of like a shotgun, except for it doesn't spread. So do it like that, and there, and then you get your uh, TNT done. And I've, I just put, added these to the back because why not? Next, you're gonna want some. Uh, you're gonna want to lay out the redstone like this. This will activate all of the dispensers except for the ones on the bottom, which are simply gonna be powered like so. There. So that'll power everything, and you just want to lead that up to a button of sorts. So, you know, I can, I'm just using functionality here. It's not meant to look pretty. And next, uh, I'm gonna take the long route here. And here, to prevent this from activating. Uh, nah. Yeah, there we go. And I'm gonna add a bunch of repeaters. Look at these tick delays. <laughs> so basically, so far, it's been just like making a regular cannon. There you go. Just a regular old cannon here, except for there's no half slab here and the propellant's there. Uh, sorry, propellant's here. That's the projectile. Next, and this is very important, doesn't matter which pressure pad you use, although I think the other ones get absorbed by water. I suggest the weighted pressure plate, just because it looks cooler. But you, that is very important. You need that here. You need a pressure plate here. Only pressure plates will work. I haven't tried it with many other things, but only pressure plates will work so far. And you're going to want water. And this is another important point. The water needs to start here and go back. If it doesn't, then your cannon will explode. Next, you're going to want to lay out the ice. Now, it depends on how you want your cannon to look, really. Uh, what happens is, I'm going to explain a mechanic right here. I came up with this design one day when thinking, how can I make a cannon with a barrel that looks pretty cool? Because the reason I wanted a barrel is I wanted to put this in the side of my mountain. But I didn't want this ugly cannon sticking out the side and being unstealthy and all that because I don't want the enemy to see my cannon. So I thought, hmm... What could I do? And by the way, I'm just, just, you know, adding some smoothing here. So I thought for a minute, and I thought, would ice work? Can ice slide along T- uh, so can, oh, sorry, can TNT slide along ice? Well, I looked it up, and I was like, yeah, entities slide across ice, and that counts for TNT as well, so... I can simply make a TNT cannon out of this. So that's exactly what I set out to do, and after uh, two tests, one of them with a, and without the pressure plate, and that didn't work, um, I got it working, and I was like, well, this is interesting. Afterwards, I promptly searched it, and thought, does anybody made this design before? And I didn't find any results. So if this is what you're looking for, a cannon with an actual barrel, then this is a tutorial for you, I mean... If you're aware of anybody else who's made this before, then, uh, please show me. I kinda wanna see somebody who's made this. Uh, for the looks, I'm gonna add a muzzle brake. And it's also to show you how straight this cannon truly is, actually. That's the point of this muzzle brake. 
Also, I'm like this, making it actually look like a muzzle brake. Never actually, you know, made a design like this. I mean, I'm just making it look a little fancier. That's all I'm really doing. I mean, you're pretty much done by now. You got your barrel, you got your cannon. By the way, caliber, a thousand millimeter. <laughs> oh, I was gonna kick out of that. Oh, uh, yeah. You know. All this is unnecessary. All this covering on the barrel. All you really need for the barrel is packed ice. <clears throat> and if you're not gonna use packed ice, well, expect friction to take in or melting if you're using regular ice. So next part is the loading process. <clears throat> Which I'm not going to burden you with, so uh, I'll be right back when it's loaded up. Alright, the cannon's loaded up. Let me just get rid of the excess in my inventory. And uh, let's do a test fire, shall we? See if our cannon worked. And it has. Oh, and it's got more distance than my other one. Oh, what's going on here? Okay, looks like the muzzle brake didn't survive. Well, a muzzle brake might not work then in the case. But, it still stays very straight, and I can, you know, fire it again. No foul play here. Yeah, see? There you go. Yeah, it stays pretty consistent, too. This is an accurate cannon. I don't know why those didn't make it all the way. It must have been the chunk loading thing. But, uh, if I change my FOV. I apologize for my FOV. I play on Quake Pro just because Quake Pro is Quake Pro. Quake Pro is cool. Where's normal? There it is. So, 7 F. Uh, 70 is normal, I think. So it's pretty, uh, pretty far shooting. I tested this shooting at an enemy base. I was like, huh, well, this is pretty cool. And, uh, so yeah, this is basically my build world. I develop a lot of things here. Now, it's been a while since I've actually done a video tutorial, so, uh, greetings to all you who have actually seen the first and second one, like, way long ago. Multiple years. Uh, thought I'd bring you that. It's getting really close to the 4th of July. It's, it's, wow, did I really just say the 4th of July? New Year. God, I feel so stupid. Okay. Oof. I wonder if I said that in my other video. I apologize if I did. Also, Redcraft. But, anyways. So, um, yeah. This is a, uh, fully barreled TNT gun. And I was pretty psyched when I first made it as well. I was just like, wow, this is a pretty interesting thing. If you found this interesting, leave a like. Suggest to other people. I'm pretty sure they'd be pretty interested. If this has been built before, uh, please share the link with me and share who did it. I'd like to see it. Uh, as far as my knowledge goes, I don't know anybody who's done this. So, of course, if you like this video, leave a like if you enjoyed. And please subscribe. I could really appreciate the help. And I'll see you all next time, alright? Bye!